and you're watching Chaka Josh live. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Fine people, you fine dressed, you sharp dressed man or woman. It's one of my work shirts. I actually got this from my my German friend Martin, who saw me at uh, I wanted to say VidCon. It wasn't VidCon. It's sort of like Trucker VidCon for me. It's truck World, Truck World. Uh, he got in the shirt there and he gave it to me. Now it's in my uh, in my truck wear collection. So you ready for this? Oh, there she is. Morning, old blue. So I've gotten everything all cleaned up back here. This is where I keep all my stuff. It's not a very big sleeper. This part here hangs down a little bit around the speaker. I'll figure out why eventually, but that's okay. It's nice and comfortable for one person in here, one person and a dog, but for now it's just me. So I feel like I'm in a big spacious cabin. Got my windows here for my natural light. Some people, well, I understand why some people, a lot of people like those big, like, T680s. Uh, they're very nice trucks. Very nice. If you're, I'm not in this truck for too long at a time. I'm a regional driver. So, uh, I'm not, like, super long haul where I'm gone on the road three, four weeks at a time or longer. I did that for a long time. I did that for nine years. My first six years here. I did uh, long haul uh, on van division, and I went from Newfoundland up to Yukon, down to Florida, like all over the continent. I'd be gone three, four weeks at a time. When I met my wife, that's how it was. I was gone three, four weeks at a time. And somehow, I managed to uh, <laughs> to get her to marry me when I was gone like that. And now we're trying to start a family. We got some good news. Uh, that's gonna be happening on Thursday. The transfer's happening this coming Thursday. It's a big day. We're uh, really hoping we only got two shots. We're hoping the first one takes right away. Uh, it's been such a long journey through the IVF, especially for, for my wife. Like, uh, oh, she's had to go through so much. I always say my part's pretty easy. It's, it's very, very easy. On her part, not so much. And Thursday's the big day we're hoping to, uh, let's hope this, hope this works. So yeah, I'm, uh, like I said, regional driver, I operate open deck. This truck is all I need. It's my my dream truck, actually. This is the truck I wanted. I wanted a, a low roof sleeper. Uh, I have lots of plans for the future for this truck, but you know, it, with anything in life, there uh, there are priorities. And once, th this truck is like, it's near the top, but it's not at the top. I mean, I got family's always at the top. So uh, we're gonna take care of that stuff first. And who knows, who knows, this coming year we might be building a nursery in our other bedroom. And then I've gotta move all of my office stuff from that, because that's sort of my office right now. I've gotta move that and then build my office in the shop and then turn that into a nursery. So that'll take some money, but that'll be fun to do. We'll see what happens. I've been yapping here for too long. You guys wanna see some trucking? Oh, let's get this big nose on the road. There was a massive cell phone network outage here in Canada today. And everybody is just lost. It's hilarious because Wi-Fi still works, right? So you get everybody out here going inside and everybody's in there just glued to their phones. <laughs> Cause that's the only way you can get Wi-Fi. The cell phones don't work. The, the, like the data doesn't work uh, for all these people who are on this network. So they're panicking. The debit machines are down. Like you can't pay with a card. You can only pay with cash. 
but then the ATM machines also run off that same network. So they're down too. So you can't get cash out. You can't pay with your card. People are just stuck here, unable to pay for stuff. Scary how reliant we are on technology. Hopefully they get it fixed soon. Lights on. Just gonna double, triple check my trailer. Yep. Let's get moving. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Let's go pick up some freight and go home. those on in town. of Edmonton right now. I've got to go down to the south side. This one was a bit of a pain in the butt, can you tell? dirt and yeah. so uh, I use that red tarp to tarp this down again that's it that's the whole load I've got these up at the front here just acting as an extra little barrier so the wind doesn't try to sneak under the tarp there got like a barrel and a crate up here some smaller stuff there and really small thin steel Piece of steel at the back here. That's it. And I bungeed this tarp down like my life depended on it. It's, it's not going anywhere. I spent a little too much time on it, I think. What are you talking about, Karen? I wasn't even in the truck. Make sure I'm in the truck before you start talking to me. All right, guys, so uh, that, that's the load taking us back. Here we go. Yikes. It's hot out there. I'm sweating. Yikes. So, we're gonna stop in Saskatoon in a few hours down the road uh, and shower. Get all the sweat off of me. Ugh ways down the road first right we have everything we need we've sent in the message saying we're loaded and leaving brakes are released lights are on all right let's try to get out of here see how I can manage to well, I can just back up Put the far away on so people can see that I'm doing something funny he's going backwards people watch out get out of their yard here. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make this corner. 
Okay, I'm gonna try and do a U-turn in their yard here. It's kind of a tight space. And I cut her hard. Oh yeah, no problem. No problem. Turn right and then turn right in 40 meters. Calm down, Karen. One thing at a time here. I'm trying not to bend in my side fairings with my trailer. I see so many guys do that. So many guys driving around with bent in side fairings on the back of their sleepers because they're not paying attention when they're jackknifing it like that and their trailer bends it in. It looks so sloppy and so bad. Cause that just tells everybody, hey, I don't pay attention or I don't care. I don't want that to be me. Turn right and then turn right in 110 meters. overboard tarping. I always, I always tarp it like, you know, I'm going to be driving through a thousand mile an hour winds or something. I don't know why I do that. But if you find a trailer that has like 10 times too many bungee straps or bungees on it, and the tarp is like solid. That was me. That was me. My bad. We're back almost exactly where we started today. I decided to take a shower here in Edmonton before we left town. I got really sweaty while I was uh, uh, tarping down and tying down this load. I was gonna stop in Saskatoon. It's a ways, I don't know, five, five hours from here or so. But I didn't really wanna sit in my own filth for that long. So, I figured we'd pull in here. Gotta check the tarps and load here anyways. Can't believe this is my whole load. I was expecting it to, you know, uh, be a whole load this is the whole thing full load i mean i'm not complaining this is awesome i'm practically empty this is so light you can get great fuel economy all the way back to manitoba oh i'm noticing my headache rack here one second look at this why is that like that it should be in there don't want these things to open up on me on the highway wouldn't be good. Yeah, see how I, I usually do this with my tarps if I have spare tarps uh, after you know, tarping the load. I put them up against the load in the front like this. That prevents the uh, the wind from catching the tarp and getting up underneath there. Sort of like a little extra barrier, an extra little seal. Pesky wind, it'll get you. All right, I have a shower reserved already. Let's go inside. So some of you in the U.S. might be wondering, are, are the showers exactly the same in Canada? They're identical. Absolutely identical. This is a smaller one, but you can come in there. Same color scheme, same everything, same company. Get your towels over here, floor towel, regular towel, and a face cloth. No difference. <coughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to get a new seat cover. Yikes, this was supposed to be the good one. It's the cheap one. They always make it sound like they're just so amazing on Amazon, right? That it gets to you and you're like, oh! I see how it is. Not buying that again. I used to be able to get these really good seat covers. They were like hardcore. It would take forever to wear them out, right? I can't find them now. I'm all showered up, feeling good. Let's go home. Look at that, even the Flying J fuel truck fuels up at Flying J. Wouldn't that be funny if you saw him fueling up at like Husky or Petro or something? <laughs> Uh, okay, what a day, what a day. People are going crazy with this uh, uh, wireless outage. 
It's like debit machines aren't working. I told you this before already, right? It's crazy. All right. Shall we? W9 right here. Turn right. I'm turning, Karen. Patience. Let me look at the Kenny over there first. Very nice. Let's not forget we're pulling a trailer. So watch where that's going too. Oh, oh. Careful, girl. Careful. You'll scare people. Made it to Saskatoon. Stopping in at Flying J again. You'll notice that that's a regular stop of mine everywhere I go. <laughs> I'm hoping to make it down to Flying J Balgoni tonight yet. I don't know, I got four hours left of driving available. I don't know. We'll see, I'm gonna go further than this place anyway. I like to drive a little later and then get up a little later. Sort of like I've been saying before, it's sort of like my schedule. For some reason it just works better for me. Puts me in a better mood. I don't know, doesn't always work out that way. Don't always get what we want. This is a really long red light. That green light is for nobody. Just a couple of people over there. There you go, yellow light, that means uh, Oh, they're probably going to get to go first now, I bet. I'm, prob I'm probably going to have to wait even longer. Aha! I was wrong. <laughs> I love it when I'm wrong. Sometimes. I'm glad I don't got to pull those big pikes around. Two 53-foot trailers. It would be fun to do like once or twice, just so that I, you know, so I could say I could do it. Oh, someone hit a skunk. Woo, I hope that's not me. Oh boy, that stinks. Three kilometers, right on, let's keep the road. No, no, Karen, we're gonna find Jay. I don't need to get fuel. Just wanna get some food in the truck. I have no food in the truck and I don't like rolling down the highway, especially into the night with no food. I at least like to have a sandwich or something. Just in case. Won't be here long. Oh, this whole place just stinks like skunk. Yikes. quickly run in, so I'll just park in front of the pumps real quick. Be out of here in five minutes. My driving time's already eating out of my daytime, so like four hours and two minutes, that's all I have today. So even if I go off duty, it's still gonna keep counting down. I kinda like when the sun goes down because then I get to see all the dash lights. Get this thing out of the way. <laughs> that thing doing there? Ah, there you are. Oh. I love the gauges on these Kenworths. All aboard. I was just about to go and check, see if I had diesel. 
Oh man, I'm getting a little tired if our diesel wasn't here. I'm gonna go a little bit further tonight yet. These guys always park in the driveway here. I don't get, look at all these empty spots. All these empty spots. That guy's in a spot. This guy, this bobtail is not. That is a driveway that he's parked in. Why? Why? All these empty spots. And this guy here too, he's also in the driveway. Is this sort of like a rebel thing to do? Like not to park in the parking spots? It's you know, sort of be like the, heard you like bad guys. I don't park in parking spots. That tarp does not cover. <laughs> Thanks. <coughs> okay, old blue, take me closer to home. Obviously not gonna make it home tonight, but uh, I wanna make it far enough tonight that tomorrow's an easy day. I actually have to deliver this load on Sunday. Did I tell you that already? Sunday, at noon, Sunday. But don't worry, I agreed to that. They asked me if I would, and I... So Sunday I deliver this, and then Monday, uh, we got some trucking lined up already. I'm gonna keep myself busy Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday's our big transfer day. people of Saskatoon. What? Karen, you gotta stop doing that. You gotta just pick one. Highway 16 East or just Trans Canada. How about that? How many different highways is it? It's Highway 16 East. It's also Highway 7 West. How does that work? It's also Highway 14 West. It's also the Trans-Canada East. And it's Circle Drive. One road. That's the road we're turning onto up here. <laughs> what? In one kilometer, take the entrance to the right on Highway 16 East, Highway 7 West, Highway 14 West, Trans-Canada Highway, and then turn left at 450 meters. Wrap your head around that. Highway 16 East and Highway 7 West and Highway 14 West. Plus a few others thrown in there just for fun. I never noticed that. Take the entrance to the right on Highway 16 East, Highway 7 West, Highway 14 West, Trans Canada Highway, and then turn left in 450 meters. I like the way she says Trans Canada Highway. 14 West, Trans Canada Highway. You're really excited about the Trans Canada, eh, Karen? Trans-Canada is like an interstate, except it's not. Interstates in the US are actual full-blown freeways, real freeways. Trans-Canada is just a highway that goes non-stop from east to west across Canada. It's like a 7,000 kilometer highway. Turn left on, circle drive east, highway 11 and then keep to the left in 1.4 kilometers. When did highway 11 get in this mix? Was it in there all this whole time? What a confusing GPS. Eh? If you were like new to this country and didn't speak English very well, this GPS would confuse the living daylights out of you. We made it. Looks like gasoline has gone down about three cents. Not bad, now it just has to go down a whole nother dollar. One ninety six nine per liter here. Now, if that would read ninety six nine, I'd be impressed. On the right side, J Travel Plaza. What are these cars doing here on the truck side, taking up space? I could have a truck parked there. Why are you here? You guys could be over on the car side. 
I have a truck parked there. All right, well, that guy nicely took up. No, no, maybe he didn't. I thought I took up two spots. So there is spots for me here if I need them. However, I don't want to park there if I don't have to. I don't get how some people fall asleep with their headlights on. Sometimes you see people who like just went into the sleeper and they still have their high beams on, just shining out into the next truck in front of them. Like, don't you check? Like, don't you walk outside your truck before you go to bed and notice, oh, I left my high beams on. Does that not happen? Do, do, it's called a post trip walk around. You just you just walk around your truck, make sure your high beams are off. And your headlights are off. I don't know. I don't know some people, right? Some people's kids. That's what we'll say. Some people's kids. Any spots for Trucker Josh? Nice, safe and sound parking lot where we can just drive straight out. Two neighbors already parked. Set and ready for night. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. Another long day today. I had 20 some minutes. Right now, if I was still driving now, I'd have 18 minutes left on my 16 hour day. So I worked uh, just over a 15 and a half hour day today again. Yay, trucking. Tomorrow is an easier day though. That's why I worked so long today. So tomorrow I'm getting home and uh, it'll be an easier day for me then. I only got about six hours of driving from here to get there. So we'll, we can start moving here at 9.30, uh, 10 o'clock or so, that's when we'll get moving. Uh, so we should be home by late afternoon, early evening tomorrow. I don't know when evening starts. Does evening start at 6 p.m.? Is that when evening starts? Let me know down below in the comments section. When does evening start? Then when does afternoon start? At noon? Okay, so when does morning start? At midnight? Is that right? But midnight doesn't feel like morning. Midnight feels like night. You see, it's 1.30 in the morning right now when we got here. It's not one... I guess it would be 1.30 in the morning. It's 1.30 at night to me, though. So is today a new day? I guess I shouldn't be going to bed. I guess I should be getting ready for the day. I don't care, I'm gonna go to bed. Take care, everybody. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, helps me out a lot.